I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. We on our way. Where? To a foreign place. Yeah. Tattoo my passport. Check these foreign plates. We gon' be here for a minute, per these touring dates. Don't know the name, get familiar, these ain't foreign faces. All right, look here, kiddo. You're in a privileged position to learn a thing or two. Now, I know you're probably wondering, what in the hell am I doing standing in front of a grill but street hymns? This is your opportunity. You're either going to barbecue or mildew. What are you going to do? Are you going to be caught cooking or are you going to be caught looking? What are you going to do? The pressure is on. Let's talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. You already know what to do and what it does, so you ain't got to ask what it was. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Happy Memorial Day. I hope everybody out there is enjoying their Memorial Day. With all that being said, safe and sound. But uh, Street Hymns, we need to talk. We need to talk about a couple things. First of all, salute to ARP, Rare Breed Entertainment, for their social distancing two card. They got a social distancing two. You got 40 Cal versus Disaster on there. You got Chef Trez battling like 10 people on there. Uh, I think it's J400 versus uh, T-Rex on there. Uh, you got a lot of joints on there. It's a lot of joints. It's heavy. It's real heavy, and I give you um, shout-outs and appreciation for that. I know a lot of people was looking for this uh, Rice Gang goat hoodie. This joint will be out soon, you know what I'm saying? Um, we'll, we'll, it'll be real soon. But anyway, um, Street Hymns. Street Hymns. Can I talk to you? Can we talk? You had one of the breakout performances on the last social distance, and you, 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 you went crazy versus Sharon. The visuals were crazy. It was an epic battle. You did your thing. You had one of the best visual social distance joints. You did like a little movie. You had different parts. You had it was the delivery man, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let nothing get too far ahead of you. And I and I wanted to talk to you without the studio around, without Showtime SP. This is just a me and you. You know what I'm saying? Before you put a fork in me, take this walk with me. Um, you 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 had a, a very good looking battle, but uh, now. ARP has done it again. He's got Murder Mook. Mookie, your bars is whack and your lingo. I ain't puff. I don't dance to jingles. I pop your top like a can of Pringles. Murder Mook, the legend, the in, the the innovator, the 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 the, the Michael Jordan. That's why why I got the go hoodie on. The 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 logo of Battle Rap coming to do a social distance battle with you. Street hymns. You need to be on your A plus 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 game for Mook because Mook is not going to play with you. Bar for bar, you know he could come with a 22. You know how he do. You know he packed 22 twos. You seen what he did versus Bur. He bring a 22 minute round versus you. Cinematic, you better bring your best material ever. Ever. Yeah, you getting your look. You getting This is the look that could change everything for you because I'm going to be honest with you. When I saw you versus Mook, I was like, what, what, what? But you deserve it, though, because of what happened in your last joint. Visually, it was fire. You did your numbers. I thought it was the best look of social distancing. But now you're being stepped up to the GOAT, the, the one of the best of all time. Don't let that go, et cetera, et cetera. Do not let that get too far ahead of you. Do not. You're going to either barbecue or mildew. You're being put in a situation where you're going to be facing somebody that's going to be putting a lot of pressure on you. Going into this, I have to pick Murder Mook because Murder Mook don't even battle. No, he's never, ever, ever even considered battling nobody that's as new as you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have never had a main stage battle on URL. You know what I'm saying? You've never had a main stage battle really on no big platform i mean you've done some bullpen joints like that i respect your career i respect your pen and i respect what you're able to do artistically but this is murder mook this is not this is not joe schmo from you know what i'm saying from nowhere battle league this is the goat right here but what i will say is this don't die you have a chance you have a chance to come in there and, and get crazy because i see your visuals if i was you I'd be thinking of the whatever the craziest visual you could think of, 
because you got an innovative mind and I like the way your mind is designed. You know what I'm saying? Like, like from me to you, this is just a us conversation. There'll be people in the comments talk, but this is me to you. I want you to know this is, uh, this is for me to your man right here. You know what I mean? I wanted to talk to you outside. I could have, you know, set up the studio, did the lights, the cameras, but I don't want all that. I want you to hear every fucking line that I'm telling you right now. You need to pack your lunch. Salute to ARP, salute to Rare Breed Entertainment, everything that they're doing. This one came out of nowhere. I ain't even gonna hold you. I just came back from the store and I seen Street Hymns versus Mook. Oh Lord, I said, yo, Street Hymns, these niggas might be trying to line you up. They might be, they might, they might be trying to heat Suge Knight and Tupac in the driver's seat. Um, I think that uh, you need to focus. Whatever you got, Look over it once, look over it twice, make sure it's nice. But you know what, though? I got a lot of confidence in you. I like what you do. I like the parables. I like how you could bring the word back and lead to another line, and another line, and the parables, and the pair of bulls, and it makes it a pair of bull. I like what you could do. Salute to your career, and salute for you for not taking the conventional route. You know, you, you're taking your career in your own hands. Uh, doing your thing and I think that this will clearly be your most viewed battle ever this will this right here Whatever you got going on before that is cool, but this right here will be the apex for you um, Going into it. Don't feel no pressure with a lot of people feeling like you're not gonna win You know what I'm saying like come on. This is murder movie we talking about versus Basically a rookie. I mean, I know you've been doing this for a little minute, but to us and to battle rap You're a rookie. So for him to even be taking you is a favor in itself now don't let that be the re you seen with AI cross Jordan, right? You seen with AI cross Jordan, huh? Yeah, this is your AI versus Jordan moment right here. This could be your AI versus Jordan moment. I'm 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 looking forward to it. I will we will be watching. We will be talking. Um like I said, Street Hymns has had battles before. Uh this is not too far. I mean, pressure, yes. It'll be a pressure situation, but uh he just did good versus Sharon. I had him beating Sharon in his last social distance. So um, it's a tall task, but Mook agreed to do it. So if he agreed to do it, you got to show, you got to step up and show your game, Papa. But uh, don't get caught out there like uh, what Head Ice did in the last joint when he rapped for like six to eight minutes or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like make sure that you got some shit. Pack your lunch, y'all. Y'all don't don't get caught up and get caught out there behind a 20 minute round like because <laughs> it could get ugly it could get really ugly for you but uh i i i'm i'm, I'm digging the, i'm digging the concept i've seen a lot of battles on there um 40 cal versus disaster uh that's different that's just two totally different styles altogether. uh 40 cal he's in tune with what's going on with the battle rap culture he's in tune he stays on twitter like every day he's talking his shit he's trolling people he's going back and forth he got disaster, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he does what he do. That's an interesting battle, but out of all of the battles that 40 Cal has had, this right here might be the most winnable battle for him. And the reason why I say that, it's not because disaster's a slouch, because he's really not. But 40 Cal, what he does with the video and the, the graphics and all of that, he could do good because he punches. He has a, 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 a he has a way better punch rate than Disaster does. Now Disaster, he got the rapidity rap. You know what I'm saying? Mind and friction, driving, friction, driving, driving, driving. Like he could do all of that. Britney Spears shifting gears, 50 year, all of that shit. But with 40 cal with the punchline flow, he could probably uh, he probably gonna get Disaster with that joint. You know what I'm saying? I I mean, it it, it, it is yet to be determined. I seen Chef Tres battling like eight niggas on the card or whatever the case may be, but. Get paid, young nigga, get paid. I don't blame him. Shit, if you're if, if, if you going to get that bag for it, do it. Do it. You know what I'm saying? Do it. But uh, Street Hymns, yeah, back to you, Papa. Um, you might want to pack your lunch. You might want to look over your list, check it once, check it twice, make sure it's nice. Um, Murder Moot, wow. This is surprising to see you taking um somebody like a Street Hymns. Uh, but... Respect to you, you know what I'm saying? It's a social distance thing. It's not like y'all gonna be battling on stage or nothing like that. But uh, if you didn't see, Mook, if you did not see Street Hymns last social distance battle, I would suggest you check that out. See what he's able to do. Like, don't sleep. Do not sleep. This is not no walk in the park. You're not gonna just uh, 
think that Street Hymns ain't going to have nothing because he certainly will. Um, but other than that, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, every single one of y'all, uh, we making sure that, you know, some more merchandise is going out tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Holidays, COVID slowed up a lot of shit, but we got a lot of stuff out and a lot of people got their stuff. And I appreciate everybody who watches this content, who rocks with this movement. You know what I'm saying? Because you can watch anything in the world, but you did that other day. Other than that, I'm going <laughs> street hymns. Come, 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 bring it in, 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 close, bring it in, close, close. Don't play with Moot, because Moot not going to play with you. Go. We on our way Where? to a foreign place. Yeah. Tattoo my passport. Check these foreign plates. We gon' be here for a minute per these touring dates. Don't know the name, get familiar, these ain't foreign faces. We stay on the moves, y'all sitting and waiting. Got too much to lose, there's no room for procrastination. I go get the bag, homie, that's a fact. By any means, I'ma bring it back. Counting you, counting you, with the crew we pay. Flip that currency, flip that currency, we ain't come to play. I see dead people, dead green and blue all day.